So welcome back guys to the channel. Today we'll be doing uh, probably the last part for the Christmas platformer. So we're going to be finishing up the game. So before we uh, get onto the code, I'm just going to like go over the code real quick. So this is dying. If it's touching the green flag, go to make a new start a new level. If the player's dead, it'll reset player. And if the player's dead, we're going to set it to yes, which triggers um, this thing. If a repeat until is player dead equals yes, and this thing broadcasts to here. Then we have the, if it's hitting the ground, like the platform detection. The platform detection, restarting the game, the movement, jumping, starting all of the controls. Like this is the jumping, movement control and jumping started these two. And then we have the moving, the speed X. This is the wall jumping and this collision with walls. And then in the animated character, it's been the same for a while. And then we had the green flag. We placed just two levels so we could just test it out. The snow, we have the snow effect right here. The snow effect. The ground. Spikes. We just put a couple spikes for a sample. And then trampoline we'll be working on today. Okay. So before we fin move on, we have to do something in here. So I'm just gonna make like, um, so this is like, you have to make it six levels. I'm making seven levels, so I have to make this one less than the total amount of levels. So this is just to show how many green flags you wanna put in it. So if the level is less than six, then we're gonna change the level by one. Right here. We're gonna, and the green flag, no, in the ground, sorry. We're gonna set this to seven. Okay, so now we have that done out, uh, out of the way. Now we can go into the main character and we can make the fastest score thing. So in my original project, I made like a high score, like a uh, fastest time thing. So uh, we're gonna make a variable called timer. So it's gonna be for all sprites. And then we're gonna make another variable and name it uh, fastest time and it has to be a cloud variable. So we're going to put this as a cloud variable, click OK. So we have the fastest time variable, so we're going to move this on this side. So it probably wouldn't work yet because we don't have all the levels laid out yet. So we're going to get into the main character, put a one green flag clicked. One green flag is clicked, we're going to set the timer to zero. Set timer to zero. And then forever, we're gonna keep on updating the timer to the actual timer. We're gonna set the timer timer to the sensing this timer. Put that in there. Okay. And then we're gonna get an if then statement. So if put control put that right there. If level is equal to seven. So I'm making seven levels. So if the level is equal to seven, that means it's the last level, then we're gonna put another if then statement. And also if timer is less than, than the fastest time. So if the timer of this person is faster than the fastest time, basically less than, then we're gonna set the fastest time to the timer. So then the fastest time will be the fastest person doing it. So, and after that, we're gonna stop the script. Put that right here. Stop this script. Okay, so after someone gets the fastest time, then we're gonna have to stop the script. <clears throat> so, after we're done with this, let's go work on some other levels. So, we're gonna go into the ground. So, for level three, I just have the ground. A platform up here and three presents so we have these in the description if you would like to download them or you can do anything you'd want pretty much but we just have three presents so we're gonna go into the green flag so we're gonna show it real quick so I want to put the green flag right here so we're gonna um, duplicate this put that under and put that right here so if the level is equal to three we're gonna place the clone at 206 and 126. Oops. So let me stop.
stop it. Okay, so this is where I want it to be, like somewhere right there. So I, I just drag it where I want, and you can see it right here. And after that, we're gonna, um, we can make another level. So we're gonna go to costumes for the ground. So you guys can do any whatever you want for your levels, but this is what we have. For level four, I just got a candy cane, flipped it to the side, a present, and a ground. So that's basically it. And then we want to position the green flag, and maybe like right here. So we're gonna like go to the code, move this, duplicate. So let me zoom in. So if the level is equal to four, then we're gonna set the position to 202. X is 202. 202, and the Y is going to be negative 109. Okay, so that's what we want it to be for level 4. And then for level 5, I would like to do this. And we're going to put a jump pad right here. This is why not, because I can jump up here and then get up there. So, for the jump pad, you can go to the ground and just copy, I mean, not the ground, green flag. And just kind of copy this code into it. Drag and drop into the trampoline. But we'll still have to change some, some stuff up. Not everything is the same. So, obviously, we have to make these positions at different places. So, zoom in. Okay. Okay, so first, let's work right here. So, in here, we're... Um, the first thing you have to change is add something. So like we're making the jump pad change for costumes. As you can see, there's a bunch of costumes. So in the beginning, we want to switch the costume to costume one, trampoline one. And then in here, we also want to do something. So we can take this thing out. Take this thing out. And then we're going to get another forever loop. So we're right here. Let's get a forever loop. Forever. So this is the jumping. If ma touching main, so if it's touching the main character, the trampoline, then we're going to broadcast a message called bounce, so the player will receive that later, and it will be able to jump up. So we're going to work on that later. First, we're going to work on this first, so we're going to make a new variable, I mean, uh, message, and we're going to name it bounce. Bounce, right here. So we're gonna name it bounce and then repeat eight times because there are eight costumes, as you can see. So repeat eight times. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do next costume. Next costume. And then wait 0 0.05 seconds. Just a little bit wait. And then we're gonna switch the costume back to the first costume after we are done. So down here. Switch costume to trampoline one. And then obviously we have to make these at different locations. So right here we're gonna take all of this out. And just keep one. So I'm gonna put a jump pad at level five, I think this is level five or something. Uh, let's go to the ground. So this is level five as you can see. So we're gonna, if level is equal to five, we're gonna place a clone, let's show it. I wanna place this clone at this, this location. So we're gonna do it at negative 138, and then for the Y, we're gonna do negative 117. 117, like that. So now we have a jump pad appearing right there. So now I have to go back to the main character, and we have to uh, do the bounce thing. So when I receive, Bounce. We're gonna set the G velocity. So you jump up higher. Set G velocity to 30. Okay, so we just jump up 30 pixels high. I'm pretty sure that's high enough. Okay. And now let's play the game. Let's save it. So level two. Level three, as you can see the flag is right there. Level four, level five, as you can see, the jump pad is working. And we have to add a flag right here. And then we'll add a flag right here, and then we'll be add two more levels, and then we'll be done. So let's go to the green flag, duplicate this code. I know it's a little bit tedious putting all this code together. So we want to do level five 
then we're gonna do show this thing. Let's put the flag like right here. Okay. We're gonna put it at 191. And for the X and the Y is gonna be 150. And for level five, we're gonna show it right there. And then for level six, let's see what we have for level six. Level six, what I did was just put a stocking with stuff inside, and then I put a candy cane. So what you're supposed to do is get up here and jump right here, and then the flag will be right here. So there's a little platform right here. So for level six, all we have to do is just show. Oh yeah, we can add some spikes on level six if you guys like. So for level six, let's add spikes right here. I feel like adding spikes. Let's make this a little bigger. Zoom in. So let's show these spikes. So I want to put the spikes right here. Actually, maybe let's put it right here. So for the spikes on level five, make it perfect. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna make it at 48 and 105. And of course we have to change the level. So this is level um, five, I mean level six. So we're gonna put the spikes right there. And then I want the green flag to be located right here. So let's go to the green flag. So duplicate this. Put that right there. And then when it equals to level six, we're gonna do it at negative two of three. And one fifty-three. Like that. And then for level seven, we're gonna we I made like a little wall jumping level, so I think let's go to the ground costumes. So for level seven, I made like this little wall jumping level. Basically a bunch of random rectangles. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put the flag up here and there's a little ravine you can fall into and you can die so for this level I'm just gonna let's hide this for now real quick so all we're gonna do is just move this green flag where we want it to be like right here and then we're gonna go to the code uh, duplicate put this right here and then we're gonna do level seven so you guys can make as much levels or as little levels as you want, but this is just an example of how many levels you should make at least. And then 142, like that. Okay. And then after that, for the ground, after you pass this level, maybe we can put this costume up here. So let's rename this, let's rename this costume to like costume 12. And then rename this to costume eight, and then rename it. Okay, so let's uh, rename this. And then this one you can rename to nine, and then you can move this one like this. Okay. So I just, and then this is just the thing, like the good job you completed the game thing. So yeah, actually, and then we can go into the main character. And then instead of doing um, six right here, we can do seven because I'm adding an extra level, which is this thing. And then we can go to the ground and then we're gonna change this eight. So now let's play the game. Oh yeah, and you guys can add music if you'd like. And I think the fastest time is not working yet because we also have to change the thing, the amount of levels for that as well so i will change this after this demo run so as you can see i'm gonna fall into this ditch and as you can see you'll die and yeah because there's uh this is the last level the flag will not work okay and then for the fastest time in the main character instead of levels equal to seven we're gonna have to do eight Actually, this is level seven. Green flag, we have to add one more. And a little a mistake in the project. Because um, the fastest time is not showing up because we have to do this less than nine. The level's less than nine. So now we can save it. Let's play it. And, and then, and then um, I'm just gonna do this and then I, I I can like I guess I can just set the level. Um 
Also, the timer right here, as you can see, the timer is constantly updating. So as you can see, the, uh, the timer shows you how fast you're doing it. So I'm gonna quickly finish this. And one more level. And there's one more minor fix in here. So you have to, um, instead of doing this to seven, because I had eight levels, I accidentally forgot about this level, so I had to change this to eight, not seven. So it depends how many levels you have, so you're gonna have to change this number to according to how many levels you have in the game. The fastest time is not quite working, because right here we stated that timer is, has to be less than fastest time in order for it to work. So one way you can do it is set the fastest time to something in the beginning. So like if you set it to like 30 or something. 30. And then so now the fastest time is 30. So if you get something lower than 30, then it will um, automatically change. Another way you could do this, instead of just setting it, you can use an or statement. So, or so if the fastest time is equal to zero, fastest time is equal to zero, and then you put this inside here, and then just plug that into. Here. Okay. So now let's play it and see if the fastest time will work, which I'm pretty sure it will do. It will do. Okay, one, four, one, five, and six, this is level six. Okay, and almost there. Okay, as you can see, the fastest time actually updated to the current fastest time right here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.